I'm saying the step that we have uh, taken is a very, very, very good step of establishing these small projects that we have started with. Because um, their success is based on the people themselves. You see people are coming together voluntarily. They understand that they have a need to come together for a specific common purpose. Of course, this is very important. So this project, they serve to build up with that togetherness of people, that solidarity of people. I look at it as you know a solution to, to an overall problem where um, I remember Basutu Man when I first got here um, talking about the HIV AIDS epidemic and telling me that people don't make good decisions when um, they're hungry or they have nothing to live for. So right here at Malapu High School our main goal is to give the students, a lot of the students who are only having one meal a day um, in their school lunches, a uh, better diversity of their food and a greater food security. Um, Kitsang High School, where we have started co uh, construction of this uh, greenhouse and what and what and what. Basically, you know, the focus is to educate students because that's the basis of education. Students there are involved. They learn skills of, uh, of uh, trees, planting trees and agriculture in general. So that's the focus. And again, the community around, as you saw that, you know, people from outside, the farm workers and what, they are elderly. So they realize the importance of this project and how their children are learning from it. The parents are also involved there, very much involved, because they want to see how their children learn from there. So the community also is benefiting. The school is benefiting. They are learning there and the skill. It doesn't end in the school premises. It also goes out to the community because they come and learn that, oh, okay, this is the importance of a, a greenhouse. This is the importance of plants. This is how plants are raised. This is how seedlings are raised. So they benefit uh, very much. The focus of uh, Tsepo it's on these people living with HIV AIDS mainly and uh, people who are living with HIV AIDS they, they learn a lot because mm -hmm. we plant different types of herbs of course herbs that help to boost immunity and and the like and you know wide varieties of uh, vegetables that they can use and they take that, those skills and when they get back to their home, they are going to plant them and they benefit. Kamakata, which basically is out of school, it's a, it's a communal a kind of project which was uh, once organized by an individual who has a, a vision and he put people together. Now these people are together now, so they are thinking of many things that they can do for themselves. So this is part of what they are doing, because they are doing many things, just planting some crops, they have other things to do, so they are thinking of many other things. So this also contributes to that. It's building up what they have already had in their minds and vision and dreams, you know, is building up. Is adding more. Great, That's you know, it. Yeah. Growing because food to end poverty. Poverty will be history. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Mad Hubble.